Welcome to another video. Today we want to show you how we clip Moki's teddy face. Well, how do we start? First, we brush the entire head properly. It might seem a little rough, but I promise you it's not. We have been brushing Muki daily since he was about nine weeks old. And now let's start with the ears. We want to give them a round shape. Here I use straight scissors, but actually a curved one would be even better. With my left hand I feel where the ear ends, because we absolutely do not want to cut into it. And then just cut the hair in a round arch. You can brush and check in between to make sure that you didn't miss any hairs. And here you can see exactly where the ear is. My thumb is right on the edge of the ear. After we're done with one ear, let's move on to the other side. And don't forget, always feel with your thumb and forefinger up to where the ear goes. You don't have to be very precisely, the curls distribute very well and conceal minor miscuts. The only important thing is that the two sides look even. Muki doesn't have such fluffy ears yet. Some poodles have quite a lot of hair on their ears. If you don't want that, you can trim the hair with a clipper and a long attachment head or scissors. It also makes sense to shorten the hair on the underside of the ears because it always gets very warm there. You can remove the fur with a clipper or scissors. After the ears, we continue with the top of the head. We brush up the head nicely. It is important to brush in all directions with and against the grain to make it look like a little afro. We use the straight scissors to take a little length off. And for this kind of teddy cut, there has to remain a lush crown. So the rule here is less is more. First, just cut a little and see how you like it. Now brush again. Then rework with the thinning scissors to achieve a very smooth result. Muki is actually doing much better now than in the beginning. Back then it was almost impossible to cut his hair with the scissors. We had to use the clipper and that didn't look very good <laughs> but now it also works very well with uh, scissors get an overall idea of what look you want to create and then trim both sides evenly. Work very carefully here because the tongue could snap out suddenly. Here I check whether hairs are reaching into the mouth, because since they get wet all the time it can be annoying for the dog and it's not very hygienic. Here it is not the case, however if there should be too long hairs just brush and shorten them out. 
be especially careful when cutting around the eyes. We have scissors with uh, rounded tips so you can't accidentally poke into the eye. Also trim the fur on the sides of the ears because it only gets warm there anyway. Besides that the ears hang down so you wouldn't see these hairs anyway. In general always work slowly on both sides, don't take away too much at once. It is better to feel your way step by step and to cut again if necessary. You can see that we're doing it outside on the roof terrace uh, because doing the teddy cut can be quite a mess. My t-shirt is full of hair too, so if the weather permits, we cut Moki's hair outside. Now for the final touch, brush over again and carefully trim around the beard. After that brush the beard under the chin again. Shorten the hair around and between the eyes. Be careful not to get hair in his eyes. Work very carefully on the nose. I always hold his uh, little mouth tightly so it can't snap open. And then shorten the hair under the chin. You can use straight or thinning scissors, uh, whichever works better for you. Make sure to achieve a round, cuddly shape in the overall result. Now we're almost there. Rebrush again, check and do the small finishing touches. And then we're finally done. Here Muki says thank you. You're welcome Muki. And um, now we want to introduce you to the equipment uh, we used. We used the Mosa Max 50 clipper with a one millimeter shearing head. And there are also two attachment combs coming with it uh, in six millimeters and 13 millimeters. We use it for the body and legs. And there is also a bottle of oil and a small cleaning brush that's coming with it. The shaving head should be cleaned and re-oiled after every use. To do this, uh, press the button, remove the shaving head and clean it with a brush. Then apply the oil to different spots.
then put the shaving head back on. It is important to start the machine and then clip the shaving head on. We also have a very fine meshed comb and a metal comb with uh, coarse teeth and a brush with rounded bristles. In addition, we use thinning scissors and straight scissors with uh, rounded tips. Curved scissors that already give the round shape would also be great for the teddy cat. We hope this video was helpful. Uh, thank you very much for watching and let us know if you tried it at home yourself.